welcome to another um, video of the Active You series of videos. Um, I'm back in Manhattan Beach, California. Last week I was in the East Coast visiting my family for Thanksgiving. Uh, what I want to talk about today is a number that you should be very aware of when it comes to doing cardiovascular so you're not all over the place and it's called your target heart rate zone. And what that is, is it keeps you within certain ranges depending on what your fitness goal is, whether it's to lose fat, to lose fat, if you want to burn fat, if you want to lose a little bit of weight, if you want to just maintain or if you want to build your endurance, that's going to depend on where you're going to be at in that range. So usually if you want to be, with, you want to be between 55 and 65% of your maximum heart rate, if you're looking to burn fat, if you're looking just to maintain your cardiovascular endurance, if you want to peak out and shoot out for burning more calories and increasing your endurance and, uh, and passing that threshold that you get when you're running and you just get so tired, then you want to go about 65 as high as 85% of your maximum heart rate. So how do you do that? Very simple. You need a couple of numbers. First, you take the average universal number, which is 220. You minus your age. After you minus your age, you have to minus your resting heart rate. How you take your resting heart rate? Two fingers on the thumb side of the hand. Take, uh, once you start hearing your beat, make sure you count how many beats per in one minute. And that's your resting heart rate. Uh, you might want to take that early in the morning when you know that you haven't gotten up and rushed and jumped up and down and drank some coffee. Um, so again, 220 minus your age, minus your resting heart rate. Now that's going to give you a number. Let's say, for example, it's 100. So then from that 100, you multiply by whatever percentage you want to be. So if you're going to want to be, if you want to be between 55 and 65% of your maximum heart rate, then you take 100, multiply times 0.55, you're going to get a number. Then you take 100, multiply it times 0.65, you get another number. And you're not done yet, I know it's a little long, but then after you have those numbers, you add back in your resting heart rate. So if your resting heart rate was 50 and your final number was 120, then 170 is your number because you added that back into it, okay? So I'll have all this in uh, at the link at the end of this video where you can actually download the, the status sheet so you can just fill them out and you'll be good to go. And again, depending on what cardio you want to do, if you want to burn some calories, I suggest you ramp it up to the 65, 85%. If you want to burn a little bit of fat, and it's only a little bit, you actually, you want to, if you want to lose weight and burn the most amount of fat, you want to stick it to 65, 85%. If you're looking to maintain, if it's one of those temper weeks where you're just maintaining and not pushing yourself and you're recovering, then you want to be between 55 and 65%. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, check out my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. I could use.